Minnesota Help Me Grow. When parents know, children grow. Age Newborn A new baby is born. Congratulations! Like most new parents, you're probably discovering there are many things to learn about caring for your new baby. It can seem overwhelming at first. Like you, your baby is adjusting to a new situation. As you learn to care for your baby, you will develop your parenting skills and what works best for both you and your baby. Cognitive Development Right from the moment they are born, a baby can see. Newborn's eyes are very sensitive to light. Dimming the lighting will often help a baby be more able to open his eyes and look at his new surroundings. Babies love to look at bold patterns or bright objects and faces, especially their parents' faces. Watch how this eight-day-old baby can already focus on the red ball and track it with her eyes, even turning her head to keep it in view. Newborns will focus on faces and objects that are about 8 to 12 inches away. And when a rattle is shaken softly, she turns to see where the sound is coming from. Language and Communication Development Newborns are sensitive to temperature changes, loud noises, bright lights, and many sensations never felt in the womb, such as hunger pains and gas. Your baby's cry is a very powerful way of communication. Newborns cry to communicate that they are hungry, cold, wet, need to burp, tired, overstimulated, or just needing you. Paying attention to your newborn's cries will not spoil them. Your response to your baby's cries will teach her to trust you to meet her needs. Your baby will gain a sense of security and comfort. <coughs> yep. When a baby is tired or overstimulated, she may yawn. When she is bright-eyed, she is saying she's ready to take in sights and sounds around her. A newborn spends many hours per day asleep, but not all in one stretch. Because a newborn needs to eat frequently, they will only sleep a few hours at a time and then become awake to be fed. Remember, back sleeping is the safest position for your baby and provides the best protection against sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. Baby's sleep area should be free of blankets and toys. Newborn babies may not sleep through the night routinely for several weeks or even months. A young infant needs to awaken to be fed two to three times per night. Large and small muscle development. It is important to give a baby plenty of tummy time when he is alert. This will help the baby develop strength and head control. Start out gradually by putting the baby on your chest if a baby doesn't seem to like to be on her tummy. Notice how this baby works hard to lift her head to see her mother's face. Watch how this baby moves her arms and legs, trying to tuck her arms and legs in when she is on her back. A newborn's hands are mostly fisted. She will try to coordinate bringing her hands to her mouth in order to suckle them, something she did in the womb that made her feel calm and secure. While newborns can hold on tightly, both with fingers and toes, she can't let go. There are a lot of things you can do to help your baby grow and learn. An important way is to give your baby plenty of love and attention. Speaking to your tiny baby is a very important way to help your baby learn. Talk to your baby about what you are doing. Sing to your baby too. Talking to your baby helps your baby learn to communicate. Babies whose parents talk to them understand things more quickly and learn to talk at an earlier age. Follow your baby's lead. When she is hungry, feed her. When your baby is crying, comfort him. Sometimes babies aren't developing typically or as expected. There are some signs that may indicate your baby may not be developing as other children his age. If your baby cries and is not able to be comforted, is not able to suck at the breast or bottle well, is not wakening at least two times during the night to feed. Body seems too stiff or too floppy. 
does not have brief periods of alertness. If you have concerns about your child's development, contact your health care provider or you can call the Minnesota Department of Education Help Me Grow Information and Referral Line at 1-866-693-GROW.